Hello, my name is Craig Carroll, President of Team One Plastics, and it's my honor to be with Jace Bolger, Speaker of the House of Representatives of the great state of Michigan. We've just been having a conversation about the overall business environment and state government's role here in Michigan. And I'd like to sort of wrap up with, if you're reelected, and obviously we have to, to see that happen, but what would be your vision if you're reelected and become Speaker of the House again of your priorities over the next couple of years? And maybe wrap up with what you'd see as your vision, what you'd like to see Michigan at in 10 years from now. You know, I'll probably uh, reverse that and so, because I think you have to look at your vision first. You have to set that vision first. So I would look at 10 years, I, I want Michigan to be the leading the country, uh, leading the country in job leading the country and literally building things, making things, producing things, uh, a, a healthy agricultural uh, economy, a healthy manufacturing economy, and entrepreneurism uh, is just, it's all over Michigan. We've, we've gotten back to, I want to keep focused on the future, but really that's Michigan's history as well. Uh, people who went out, took chances, and created things. So I would see healthy communities, I would see uh, a great education system, uh, public safety, infrastructure, and roads, all of that happens by having our, our individuals get healthy in their own pocketbooks, uh, having those jobs and opportunities. So the question of what do we do then uh, is that that's what we have to embark on. We have to continue on spending reform, tax reform, and regulatory reform. We have to make sure that as we balance the budget and spend the dollars that we're entrusted with, we understand they're not our dollars. They're our taxpayers' dollars. Every dollar state government spends was first earned by a Michigan taxpayer through their hard work. So we have to make sure that we respect that. We place priorities on that. I've mentioned the priorities of education, uh, public safety, and roads. Those have to be our priorities. I'd have a well-skilled, talented, advanced manufacturing workforce. Uh, so we'd have an economy that's leading the nation. Uh, we'd have healthy communities, and we'd have families who are very happy and healthy because they're close-knit, they didn't have to leave the state or, or go other places to find opportunities. They're making those opportunities here in our state. Well, you've already done quite a bit, so it sounds like you've still got a long list of things that you would still like to accomplish over your next couple of years. I don't feel by any means that now is the time to let up. There is much that remains to, to be done. There are still too many people looking for work and opportunities. We've got work left to do. I feel we're on the right path. I know that Michigan's best days are in front of us but we've got to make sure that we don't take that for granted. We've got a lot of work to do to get there. Well, Jace, as a small business owner, I do want to thank you. I, I appreciate all the efforts that you've done and your colleagues within the whole legislature to make the hard decisions and, and really make change happen. Some of it's not always positive. Some of it's um, you, you have to adjust on the fly. But I know you've really worked hard for everyone within the state of Michigan, and uh, I and I know many truly appreciate all your efforts. Thank you. Thank you for your investments, and thank you for providing jobs in our great state. Well, we're looking forward. Uh, as we've said, uh, I, like you, are very optimistic about Michigan's future.